Okay. Bones. Yeah, let's just try and play Razor Sharp Opening. <laughs> or the Knight D2 system against the French. Had some good results with that. Um, well, that's C4, surprise C4. I've played this before as a surprise weapon. It's been played in a, a long over the board game between title players um, ages ago. Where I happened to be sort of getting the PGNs of the tournament together. Um, so does he know everything about it? Okay, bishop b5 here. Try and collect the pawn. I, mean, I used to play bishop b1, which was terrible. Bishop b5 is uh, probably quite important to play. If this is if this system is playable at all. <clears throat> Alright, so F four F five hack attack. Why not? There's diagonal though, once the Queen B six happens, I can move the king. Knight D three. The other knight moves maybe. A knight of five here. Why not a knight of five here? Try and collect that dark square bishop. Nope. It's got. Mm, nope, not knight takes f4. Uh, I've got queen g4. Very subtle. If it was threatening mate. We'll just knight b3 here. Hold on. Knight b3. I'll get into d6. It's going to always undermine it with f6, but then I can play f5. Knight d6, bishop c7, f5, bishop d6, f takes, no. Alright, is there any more moves I can play here? Queen g4, knight d6, I'm going to just rook f3, rook f3, or queen h5. <coughs> Okay, we're going to free it is. <laughs> so I'm hoping knight g5 will just take. I'm still protecting f5. Knight f4 will just take. If I can get rook h3, I know it's primitive, but uh, rook h3 and queen h5 and knight h6 of h6. Uh, it's going to set me exchange. Rook h3. No, 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 no. Takes queen h5, threatening h7. Surely that's dangerous. Uh, it just takes on f4. It's queen h5. Uh, bishop f5 protects h7. Ah, oh, that's sad. That's really sad. Why, why does it protect h7? Oh. So I can't throw in knight h6 check even, or e6, or that anymore? Queen g4, queen g4, bishop f5. It's pathetic. Knight h6 for g3, knight g6. Oh gosh, I'll go for this. I'll try and play bishop h6 and queen h5. I don't know if e6 is worth playing. Takes f8 is better. It's queen e5. Oh, it was queen e5. It's 
Just some wood getting better on my Oh, I'm getting better on my zero. Bishop G1 was. Oh, dear, I should have played H4 maybe. Oh, no, it doesn't make any difference. So there's Bishop G1, there's a tactic. Take, so takes, takes, rook takes, king. Uh, there's Bishop G1. I don't know if that's mating. Maybe, maybe that's not good enough. Okay. 92 to play rook. Maybe f1. Rook takes f8. Hmm. Uh, he doesn't want to know rook g6 if queen d2. So, I don't know, where do I move this uh, rook? Well, that's e1. Let's push it up to b1. Oh, move it to b1. Oh, I got a seesaw. Horrible seesaw. It's gone in for the seesaw. Nope. Queen configuration. Uh, interesting. Uh, can I get into the dark squares? Are these pawns going to avalanche me? Queen 7 and h4. Uh, I think, no, no, h4 maybe. <laughs> just, just h4 and h5. Get, try to get pawn to h6. It's easy to coordinate the queen and blitz anyway. Usually. Oh, I'm going to take the h4 pawn. Nope. That's g4 is a threat. It's got e2 coming up. It's probably over. What's e2? Um, <coughs> no, queen e5. Try and stop e2 and play h6. h6 is harmless. Oh. Nice. Nice. That solves all his problems. Nicely played. <laughs> it's tough around the 2300 mark on your two pairing. <laughs> it's like title player after title player now. Alright, uh, that was exciting though. I thought, yeah, that's a good game. Please leave any comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.